Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, these wires that come with the H501S extended range kit. Uh, this blue one is the M Eagle or Meagle. You get this antenna, you get a 3 dBi dipole antenna. These wires are actually about 8 inches long. The ones that come with this XDA model are about 4 inches. And I mean, you can amp up your 2.4 I mean this is a 9 and a massive this thing is huge it's a 9 dBi 2.4 antenna but this is an RP SMA it means it has an inner hole which means you would have to use this type of an RP SMA where the needle sticks out of the top now most kits like this come with the regular male SMAs where they have inner needles on both sides. If you look at the advanced transmitter, it has a regular male SMA for the 5.8, but if you look at the 2.4, it is an RP, or reverse polarity, male SMA. Don't let reverse polarity fool you, it has nothing to do with the electronics. All it has to do with is the gender of where this pin is located. It's either on the SMA connector, on there, or on the antenna. You see this one has the inner hole, and the regular ones like this have the needle sticking out of the antenna. Now these wires, I mean, are very tiny and they are coaxial cables. Now what's a good idea is they sell these on eBay. This one's a little bit long so I'm not going to use it. These are called RG178 wires. They're very low loss. Uh, this happens to be an RP SMA, but um, it's a little bit long so I don't think I'm going to use it. I'd have to coil it around but when you use these type of wires they're high grade copper and it has the same as long as you get SMA to IPEX you know they're the same thing but these are way better wires you can get them in any length but for the standard if you want to do an antenna mod I would probably get 4 inch 10 centimeters or 4 inches because then you don't have to loop it around but these are low loss, you know, you don't, and they're, you want to make sure that the wire, the transmission line that runs to the antenna from here down to the IPEX is 50 ohms because the antennas are 50 ohms and if you get a mismatch between your module, the transmission line, and your antenna, you actually lose power. Also, if you look inside these 3 dBi dipole antennas let me get some light there is look inside see that that is an RG 178 wire that runs inside of every single one of these antennas besides this one but besides the 9 dBi but in any 3 dBi antenna you have is going to have that goldish looking RG178 wire and that's for a reason because these are very good wires it is an issue though it's very important like the magic number is 123 or 122 millimeters that you need from here to here to get your frequency and everything tuned correctly and I got this actually for the H109S X4 Pro because the proper fit you can even put these you know right on here if you want as you can use clover leaves spiral nets whatever you want so reverse polarity just only means the gender of the antennas. It has nothing to do with the electrical signal going to them. 
see that antenna has an RG178 cable running as well so if you're gonna do antenna mods you might want to think about you can get, even get these in a lot of different sizes I was gonna order a couple more and get them four inches long so they're not so long but they all are 50 ohms these are low loss high frequency really 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 nice wires and a lot of people use these for a lot of different reasons the electric you know electronics are going to be the same the way the antenna works is there's a ground that's your threads there's an inner needle that's your signal point and it basically sends out a very high frequency out like a donut and then the signal point comes back in through the middle of the antenna so when you're flying you kind of point at something like that you do not want the tip of the antenna pointed at the, the quad because that is the weakest transmission point the strongest transmission point on any antenna is going to be right close to the middle 